I have another theory where I analyze the Angry Birds. It was restricted to being watched only on computers due to a copyright. It's my longest theory at 12 minutes long, I'd recommend trying to watch it. However, this is going to be very cool. If you haven't ever wondered what it would be like to be launched from a gigantic slingshot, then you're crazy. This is awesome. So using my skills and whatnot, I analyzed what would really happen to you if you were an angry bird. This is the calculation without error resistance, because A I want to get as high a number as possible, and B because it's difficult to calculate resistance with projectiles. I'm going to avoid math in this video for the most part, I'll just get to the answers. To start off, I have a slingshot. I ripped the sling off and connected weights to it to discover its mathematical properties. Basically, so long as I know how far a slingshot is stretching, I can find out how far it will shoot. Pretty cool. So we'll assume that the slingshot firing you will be 1000 times bigger, and the sling will stretch back 20 feet. Calculating the energy stored in the slingshot and converting it into other kinds of energy allows us to find out how fast you'll be going upon leaving the slingshot. If you're 150 pounds like most people, then you'll leave the slingshot going a whopping 1080 kilometers per hour. Next, we'll assume that the slingshot is 7 feet high and that you're being shot onto flat ground. Also that it's aiming at 45 degrees for maximum height and distance. Taking another massive equation and rearranging it to find out your air time, we can deduce that you'll be in the air for 43 seconds. Holy guacamole and chips for dips. That's actually pretty realistic for an air resistant less projectile. And finally, you'll go 2.3 kilometers high and stunningly 9 kilometers far. Holy cow that produces chocolate milk. That's insane. I'm not finished yet. The most deadly part of this whole scenario is take off. You'll experience gravity that is 757 times more powerful than Earth's. During your little fling from a sling, if you were 150 pounds, you'd actually weigh 112.5 thousand pounds. I believe that would crush you. Also, since humans don't survive 7% of that acceleration, you're dead. However, you'd travel that 20 feet of sling in about 0.04 seconds, and would actually produce about 3.24 degrees Celsius. Cool. But the puller of the slingshot would need to be lifting around 226,725 pounds to stretch at 20 feet. Your takeoff would burn 215,000 calories. Crazy. If you thought this was bad, I also tried calculating if the slingshot was a million times bigger and stretched 1 kilometer. There's 2.5 days of air time and you produce so much heat that you'd blow up the solar system. Check it out in the link in the description. So obviously the angry birds would not die on their low scale, but if you were put into a giant slingshot, you'd instantaneously die. Until next time, I'm the Theorizer.